Hello friends, so today in this video, we'll go through the first two problems from the latest lead code weekly contest 255. So let's start. The first problem is not too difficult. It states that you are given and you have to find out the greatest common divisor of an array. So the problem is asking you that you are given an array nums. Okay. And you have to find out the GCD of the smallest number and the largest number in that array. So you just have to what you can do that you have to first find out the smallest number and the largest number in that array and just find out the GCD using C++ STL. So that's what I've done here. Uh, first find out the maximum number and the minimum number using these functions and then just do a GCD of the maximum and minimum number. So it's not too difficult. It's just a very simple problem. The next problem is find unique binary strings. It states that you are given an array of strings nums and it contain n unique binary strings of length n. So all the strings are of length n and they are binary strings. Now return a binary string of length n as well that does not appear in that nums array. Okay, then there can be multiple answers. Then you have to return the answer, uh, any of them. Now what you can see here is that there are two strings, this 0, 1 and 1, 0. And you have to again find out a binary string which is not here but it is also of length 2. Now what you can simply see here is that n length is only 16. So if you just do 2 to the power of 16 because how many total number of binary strings are there. So if you just find out that 2 to the power of 16 is around 65,000. And it can be easily done in a brute force way also. So what you can simply do here is just try to generate all the possible strings of length n and then uh, just check that whether that particular string s is in this particular array or not. So before that what you can do here is uh, you just store all these strings in some set because then to find out any string it becomes easier it will become o of log n instead of log n uh, like log n instead of n and then what you can simply do here is just try to form all the binary strings of length n. Now how you can do that they can in multiple ways uh, you can but the simplest way is like uses some sort of DFS sort of thing so in which means that I have an empty string and maybe I want a string of length 2 in which uh, binary strings of length 2 because it's empty now so I have two options I can fill the first position with 0 and the first position with 1 so it's like a string with only 0 and I want that the total length should be 2 it's like a function call and the string is of length 1 only or like the string is having only one character 1 and we want actually the length 2. Then we again call this and it will become like 0 1 and 0 0. You are actually for every string till that string becomes equal to n the length of that you keep on iterating or like keep on adding 0 1 0 1 and calling that function again forming like a binary tree. So it's like 1 0 and uh, 1 1 now as you can see here is that uh, the string length has become equal to 2 okay now at this point what you will see you will just match that whether this particular string is in that set or not if it is not just store that particular answer and you just return on that answer so that's the logic for this problem as well i'll show the code part now so the code is uh, yeah here so we'll first insert all the particular nums or actually all the strings into some set this is some global set and then what we'll do we'll iterate over when we'll find out the length of one of the strings which is n then do a dfs call with an empty string and total length of the string finally should be n and return out the answer which is a global uh, string also in this dfs call we'll stop when our actual my call or my total string becomes length n at that case what we'll do here is we'll check that whether that string is not in the set and also that whether that string is not empty what we'll do here is we'll check that whether that global string should not be empty if it is already holding some string why to insert one more string i just want one answer because it can be multiple answers i just want one answer so the string which is answer variable if uh, that is empty and also that particular string which we have found out is actually not in the set just make your answer equal to that particular string of length n and return out else call that dfs function again adding 0 and adding 1 and that's the logic for this problem 
uh, it's just a secure recursive problem uh, brute force recursive problem i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention down i will see this one and keep coding and bye